Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Stage. It's time to take on the dreaded ultimate super boss of the game. Now, as with the rest of the LP, I will not be using summons for this fight. So no entering the fight with all my gin on standby. No, no, we're not going to be doing that. If you want to kill the guy in five minutes, summon rushing him, hey, go nuts. I would not blame you at all, because this is a really tough fight without doing that. But I am not going to be doing that. So let's get everything set there. As far as my equipment goes... Let's see, none of my equipment requires playing mini-games or using random forging materials or ultra-rare drops. So no 99% quit rates or anything ridiculous like that. No, no. Uh, also, I will not be using hard resets to manipulate the AI script of Superboss there. Uh, what we did, though, was uh, one of my viewers and I spent the better part of a day working out this method under these restrictions and limitations. But it works, it works. And I could not have done it without him. I mean, I figured out some stuff on my own, but I couldn't have figured out everything by myself. So let's take a look at our setup here. For Jin, I gave Ivan the Flash Jin just for the damage reduction, not for any job class or anything like that. I definitely want him to have ground you could give him Petra instead if you really wanted to. They're the same thing, despite the description saying otherwise. But Ground or Petra, that's the critical one. And then I gave him Breeze and the rest of the Djinn that I did. So that way Ivan could cast High Impact, not only at the start of the battle, but perhaps in case of emergencies, in case someone else dies, you would have been casting that instead. But that shouldn't be too critical there. Let's see, as far as Felix goes, I made him into a Ronin instead of a Ninja Master there, even though Ninja Master would have better stat modifiers for attack and agility there. But I want Felix to have the Quick Strike synergy. It's a Jupiter multiplier attack damage synergy, and the boss is, well, weaker to Jupiter than anything else. Not necessarily weak to it, but... It's the way to go there, instead of using the Soul Blade for its Unleash effect, I'm only using the Soul Blade just for the raw attack power, that's it. Let's see, for Garrett, I made him into a Beast Keeper so he could have access to the Griffin synergy for his damage, or Jupiter damage there. The critical genie for him is Petra there. Everything else I've assigned to Felix and Garrett for boosting their attack stats, because they're gonna be, well, my main damage dealers for the fight there. And let's see, another benefit of the Beast Keeper job class with the Trainer's Whip and the Djinn I have equipped is that he also gets the Lich Synergy, which is a revival synergy. I think it's guaranteed revival to 100% of your max HP. So that's pretty nice. So that was just a nice side benefit. I didn't even think about that when I first did this, but yeah, that works out for him. And for Piers, I gave him, I made him into a pure mage, along with the granite and synergy or granite genie for damage reduction, the lull genie for turn order manipulation, and the salt genie for recovering from the haunt or curse status there, or death curse status, that is. So that'll help out for him. The reason I gave him the pure mage job class was because it has the highest luck modifier, or luck stat modifier, in the game. And I want him to have at least 40 luck, so that way he'll be immune to pretty much every status ailment the super boss can throw at you. Including instant death, because I cannot have peers die, or it's almost certainly going to be all over. Not necessarily, but probably. So that's why I gave him the, or set him up the way I did there. Also, the, even though he only really needs 40 luck for what I want here, I want him to have quite a bit of leeway there. So that way, if he's used all of these gin, he'll still have 40 luck and won't be able to be one shot with instant death while I'm busy resetting Jin and stuff like that. 
Now, as far as equipment goes, let's see, for Ivan there, it's nothing extraordinary for him, really. I'm mostly going to be having him using Jin the whole time. But the Iris Robe eh, has some luck resistance along with the Jeweled Crown, so yeah, that can help him out. Why not? Let's see, I got some HP boosting stuff for him, too, as well. Let's see, with Felix here, mostly the same as I had him set up before. I gave him the Ninja Garb, so that way I could guarantee he'll get his turn before the Super Boss. And let's see, for Garrett, pretty much the same thing as before. I gave him the Elven Shirt and Golden Boots, so that way he'll be faster than the Super Boss, because the Beast Keeper job class has a really terrible agility modifier, so I need the equipment to help out with that. For Piers, I gave him the Gaia Blade, not because I'm going to have him attack, he's going to be my healer the whole time, pretty much, but I wanted the Gaia Blade for the Venus Resistance. That'll help him out quite a bit there. I gave him the Jeweled Crown and the Festival Coat for the Luck Boost there to guarantee his status resistance, and, well, not, maybe not most importantly, but very importantly, I'm intentionally giving him the Turtle Boots to cut his agility in half. The reason is because the Super Boss has 241 agility, and he gets three turns per round. And the way it works is he'll take his first turn, or first action per round, at 241 agility, the second turn at about 180, and the third turn at about 120 there. And I want Piers to be right in between the second and third turns that the Super Boss will take there for helping to manipulate turn order. So the Turtle Blitz puts him just right where I want him to be. And let's see, as far as anything else, yeah, that's pretty much it for equipment. As far as healing items go, I've got a Mist Potion and some Waters of Life for Ivan there. That's really the big stuff. But even then, I probably won't be having him use them very much beyond like the first couple rounds of the battle if the worst case scenario happens. Let's see, Felix, I gave him the rest of the Waters of Life because he doesn't have a revival synergy if that became necessary. Elixirs probably won't be necessary, but I gave them to him anyway, even though he does have the Fairy Ring. Let's see, Side Crystals are pretty mandatory though because we're going to run out of synergy at some point in the fight because it's going to take a while. And some emergency single targeting healing items, but those should not be necessary beyond the first couple rounds of the fight, maybe. Let's see, so for Garrett, he has the Revival Synergy, so I'm not worried about Waters of Life. Let's see, Side Crystals, you definitely want to have. Everything else is the same as Felix there. Now, Piers is pretty critical, being our healer, and I want him to have the Mist Potions, because uh, Wish Well may not be enough for the healing that I need in any given round, so I want him to have those to help out. Side Crystals are just there as a backup. Usually I'll have Garrett or Felix use side crystals on themselves if they can. Let's see, some single targeting healing items for Piers definitely because the Pure Mage job class does not have access to those. And yeah, nuts. You never know, I might need them, but they're there if I need them. So let's see how well this will go. Okay, this is take one of the fight here. Let's hope it works. Once you've made it into an Emma's Inner Sanctum, use Hover on the blocks once you've got them all into place. We find the Super Boss here. Your proposal is acceptable. For Super Boss time against Dullahan himself. Yeah, kick ass. I love that they brought the music back from the first game here. Very appropriate. I think it sounds a little more epic than it did in the first game, but that's probably just my imagination with the emotions running high and everything. Okay, first things first, let's get high impact on everyone so that Dullahan might cast break on us. The thing with Dullahan is that he has a fixed AI script of 24 actions, but he might skip over break if I don't, well, if he would skip over break if I don't have a buff active. So I want to start out using high impact to help with that, and not to mention, I need to know where Dullahan is in the AI script, because since I'm using 
uh, what is it? Uh, since I'm not using a hard reset, I won't know where he's starting in his AI script. So let's see how it goes. So we got Granite because I don't know what kind of damage he's going to be throwing at me at the first round. High impact to possibly bait him to use break on us. Okay, attack, condemn. I think I know where he is and I'm probably screwed. Yeah, this is worst case scenario, I think. I'm trying to think if there's a way I can work around this. I mean, Charon, I'm not extraordinarily worried about. But I do want to stop it because it can inflict instant death on you. And it deals a lot of damage. Okay, well, we survived. But the problem is that he's got the coup de bras coming up here. You know, let's just... I'm going to soft reset in a minute, but let's just show this off anyway. So you can see why I'm going to be soft resetting in a moment. Okay, Jin Storm. The most brutally unfair attack in the game by far. It puts everyone's Jin on, on not standby, on recovery. So you can't even reset your gen or anything like that. You get massive stat debuffs and you're basically dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Worst case or best case scenario, maybe you could let your main party die and your reserves come in. But yeah, I don't have enough stuff to set them up and everything. So yeah, if he gets gen storm in the first round or two, you soft reset. It's one of 24 actions in his AI script, and yeah, that was just horrifically bad luck. Absolute worst case scenario. So the idea is to just get to a point where he's not going to use Jin Storm in the first round or two. And it's very likely for that to happen, but well, not here today. Port Super Boss time again. Okay, let's Hope things work out better this time. Take two. Okay, let's see. Yeah, same thing as before. Let's just hope things work out better for us. Okay, let's get Granite going again. So the first thing we need to do is figure out where he is in his AI script. So I know where to go, what to do. Okay, condemn. This could work. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Taran might kill someone, but as long as Ivan or Garrett are alive, we'll be fine. We can survive. Yeah, let's just skip the animation now or cut it down. Okay, even better. Now, Curse is that countdown status effect, but I'm not really worried about it. Okay, so now I know where he is in the AI script. Jin Storm is going to be the first thing he's going to do this round. So we are in very good shape now. So first things first, let's use ground. Let's see, Felix. Where are we? Okay, yeah, go with some damage there. Let's see. Okay, yeah, he's got break coming up eventually, but not right now. Okay, so let's see, we got that. Normally, I would have Piers, or actually, yeah, I should have him set granite. Hmm. This could be a problem, though. I might... Let me see. How does that help my HP? Hmm. I'm thinking if I want to set granite now or heal, I think I need to heal. Yeah. Yeah, I need to heal. So let's go with... Well, even if I heal, though, I won't... Yeah, let's just use which well. Whatever. Just, just go. Okay, so with ground, what happens is that it stops whatever his first action will be for the round. And not only does he not get to use Jin Storm, he loses that action per round. So it's not like he's just skipping it and then he's going to do something else. Now, nah, now. Nah. Okay, so let's heal up here before he uses his big attack. Okay, okay, we're good. All right, so let's see, where are we? Let's go, let's see, we need to heal up a little bit. 
Okay, so now what I need to do is have... Uh, what is it? Ivan use Flash because he's got a lot of big attacks coming up here. Okay, so now... Let's see. I'm going to play it a little conservatively. Normally, I would have him use Quick Strike there just to deal some extra damage. But I want to... I need to get Granite set, so I can't have Piers healing this round. Okay, so the first thing that Dolahan is going to be using is True Collide. That deals a lot of damage if you haven't used Flash, and he drains 100% of the damage as HP. And so that's why we use Flash here, not so much for the damage reduction, but to prevent him from damage or prevent him from healing himself that much. Because without summons, I would not be able to keep up with that. He's also got Fulminous Edge that can deal like five to six hundred damage without Flash going there. So that's why we use that there. Okay, how are we looking here? Okay, we've got the buff set up here, so Dolahan is going to be using Break on us coming up soon. So now, let's see, we need to get ground reset for future rounds. Let's see, let's go with Quick Strike, Griffin, and let's see, I need to use Granite to help reduce the damage from True Collide coming up here. Now, Piers took his turn so early in the round because Granite has initiative and it'll always go first in a round regardless of the agility stat of the user. So I want Dolahan to use Break here. Then he'll attack, and then he'll use True Collide. It would be nice if I could reduce the damage a little more, but, well, it reduces it enough. We'll be fine with that. Oh, also notice that Dolahan regenerates 200 HP per round, so that's also some more healing that we have to recover from. Okay, let's get Flash reset there. Now, I don't want to use High Impact now, because I actually intentionally want Dolahan to skip over the next break that he would otherwise cast. So, let's see. I want Garrett... Well, normally I would have him set Petra here, but because this is the first cycle of his AI script, I don't need to do that. So, let's see. I can either cast Griffin or do a little bit of healing... And I'm just going to cast Griffin, because I think uh, Piers can handle what little healing we need. This round is not extraordinarily or problematic. I don't know what Element Swap does. It's nothing I care about, but yeah, I, I forget exactly what that does. I'm not worried about it. Now, the thing with Haunt, one thing you want to watch out for is that if your entire party is inflicted with Haunt, he won't use that on you. So you want you want to make sure that not everyone is afflicted with it, so that way Dolahan will not skip over that. Death Curse, not extraordinarily worried about, even if he did get that on us. Okay, so now, in this round, he's going to start with Charon, so I need to use Ground to stop him from doing that. Let's get an attack in there. Let's get another attack in there. And let's see. Status ailments, do I care about? Hmm. Not really. But I don't really have anything better to do, so let's actually just set granite there. I would only use salt if, like, I had, like, at least two or three status ailments on my party. But I don't, so we can just go on. Get some good damage in there. So Dolahan will skip Charon, then he uses Bind. Even if that hit, I wouldn't extraordinarily worry about it, but I would like to get that going. Now, normally, he would cast Break here, but because I didn't have a buff on my party, he skips that action and instead attacks. Now, in this round, I need to use Flash because he's going to have True Collide and Forminous Sage, which I believe is a mistranslation for Fulminous Edge, actually, from what I've heard. Now, I want to cast High Impact, because I want him to use the next break in his AI script. And we're doing pretty good on Jin. I could reset a Jin if I needed to, but I don't. So, let's just go with Wish Well here. 
we need Flash to, for the damage reduction there. Flash also has initiative. By the way, another gen another genie you could use for damage reduction is Shade. It's actually a little better than Granite. That reduces 60% of damage instead of 50. But the job classes don't work out with Mercury Gen, so that's why I'm not using it. But all right, okay, so let's see here. Now we need Ivan to get his two gen reset. Get more damage in there. Get even more damage in there. How are we looking here on Jin? We are good, I can take a moment to heal. And I'm gonna take advantage of that. Let's actually, what does he got? He's got a regular attack. Yeah, let's just use a regular wish spell this time. Piers has the most flexibility with what he can do per round, depending on the situation. But okay, he goes attack, or no, or element swap, then attack, then condemn, which could be instant death, okay. Okay, so this makes things a little more interesting here. Let's see. So now, normally, well, I would have Ivan use Flash here. Normally, I would have Garrett use Petra, and I could use ground here, but then I wouldn't have ground available for, for, wait a minute, no, yeah, I do want to use, or do I want to use ground here, if I use ground here, I can revive Garrett, he could use Petra next round instead, yeah, yeah, that can work, okay, so I'm going to have to kind of wing it a little bit here, but this is okay. Okay, so now, let's get ground to keep him from casting Charon. Let's see. Normally, I would have Felix use Quick Strike, but I need to do some reviving. So let's do that. And the thing is, is that his three actions for the round would be Charon, Curse, and then Jin Storm. So this is why I have Piers set up the way I do. So that way, I can use Ground or Petra to stop Charon from happening. Then he'll use Curse, which I don't really care about. Then we use Lull to stop him from casting Gin Storm. This is also why I had uh, Dolahan skip that break in the middle of his AI, AI script. So that way I could get Gin Storm to be the first action in this round. So now I could use Petra to deal with that. Okay, so now we've got flash we want to set here because i'm going to need that in the next round let's see you can go with a good quick strike there let's see garrett now i'm going to have him use petra instead of ivan using ground which is what i normally would do and let's see with peers let's set low hmm how does that help his hp okay hmm i'm concerned he might still die if he takes some damage Hmm. You know, let's play it ultra conservatively here because I'm a little off script here because of just how things worked out. Okay, so let's go heal Petra and then. Yeah, I need to. Or wait, I could just have Pierce heal himself. But now let's just do it this way. Let's just play it a little conservatively here. Okay, so he skips Gin Storm, he's got Haunt. Then he's got Fulminous Edge, or Fulminous Age. Ow! Yeah, there, I can't prevent all the damage he deals to me. I do what I can, but... Okay, so now, let's get back on script. We're looking good here. So let's get Quick Strike. Let's... Do I still have the buff on this? Okay, good, good. I need the buff on. Active. Okay, so... Where was I? Okay, so let's go Flash. Quick Strike. You can go with Griffin, you'll be fine. Piers can take care of the healing. Actually, hmm. I could use a vial, but I'll go with this anyway. Besides, Dolan's gonna get some damage before I get the potion to go. But Garrett should still be guaranteed his survival with Flash helping us out. Potion, okay, we're good. Ow, quit it. 
Okay, so now we need to spend the next two rounds having Ivan get ground back up and running. Let's see, we are doing good on Synergy. You want to keep an eye on that. Garrett's getting a little close, but not too close. Get, get more damage in there. And let's see, this round I need to use Granite because he's going to use True Collide again. By the way, Break does not remove the protection from Granite. So don't worry about that. It only removes, like, stat buffs. This is more of a damage modifier than a stat buff. So he removes high impact. Remember, do not recast high impact until he skips the next break in his AI script. Okay, so let's see here. Mm, Ivan's getting a little close to dying from that death curse countdown. So we might want to start thinking about that. Okay, let's see, we got Quick Strike, let's see, let's set Petra now. Part of the reason why I want to set Petra now is because I don't have the high impact buff, so I might as well take this opportunity to reset Jin instead of, what is that? Uh, reset Jin instead of attacking when I have the buff active. Okay, so he goes Element Swap, Haunt. And then he'll go with Curse after I heal up a bit here. Okay, how are we looking? Do I want to use Salt? I don't have anything better to do, so we might as well. Okay, here we need to use Ground to stop him from casting Charon. Okay, Quick Strike. By the way, I will list my equipment setup and Jin and the AI script, all that stuff in the video description if you're going to follow along with what I'm doing here. Okay, so, hmm, I could reset Granite now. I don't need to do it now. But I would rather get rid of Death Curse because Ivan is getting a little close to dying there. So, yeah, let's take care of that. And Dolahan isn't going to be inflicting any status ailments on us in the relatively near future. So now he'll go with Bind. Hmm, that's slightly annoying. But I can get rid of it with Salt, I think. Yes, okay, good. That's also another reason why I use salt there. Okay, so let's see. We got used ground. Now we need to use flash to deal with his big damage he's got coming up here. Okay, so let's go with that. Okay, now we can get high impact on since he skipped break already. And let's see. If I didn't set lull, I could do that here, but we're fine. And... Yeah, yeah, let's go with that. We don't need healing right now because we got Flash to help us out. Dolan's going to go with True Collide, Form in a Sage, and attack this round. But Flash will nullify all that, most of it. Ow, put it. Okay, let's see. This round, we need to start resetting my gen here. Okay, got that. How are you looking? Okay, let's keep going with Griffin there, keeping an eye on Garrett's synergy points there. And let's see, I could heal here if I so chose, or I could reset Salt if I wanted to. I think I will go with the Wishwell here, because he's got an attack he's going to use before Piers gets his turn to heal there. So Element Swap, attack, then we heal. And he's going to use Condemn. Hopefully it will not work. He seems to have a really bad habit of targeting peers with that a lot. I don't know what his obsession is with him. But at least in my experience, maybe I'm just being paranoid. But he seems to love hitting him, which is one of the reasons why I gave him all that luck boosting equipment. Okay, let's reset Flash here. We can get some more damage in there. Let's see, I need Petra to stop him from casting Char on there. And I need Ball to stop him from getting to Jin Storm on his third action this round, which he otherwise would. Okay, not really worried about that. Let's stop there. Excellent. Okay, let's see. So now we need Ground or Petra to stop him from casting Jin Storm at the start of the round. Got quick strike. Get some more damage in there. 
Let's see, if I didn't have granite set, I would do that now, but I already have it set, so I'm not worried about it. Hmm, Garrett's a little light on HP, but I think he'll be able to survive. Hmm. Okay, so let's reset soft there, since I don't have anything better to do. Whenever you get a chance and you don't really need to heal, take the time for Piers to uh, reset some of his gin there. Okay, so he goes Haunt there, and then he's going to have a big Formina Sage here. Haha! -ha! I survived! Woohoo! Whew, barely. <laughs> Yeah, I told you he was a little light on HP, but all right. Okay, let's see. Garrett, we can keep going with some more damage. I could reset another gen here, but it's not extraordinarily important right now. Yeah, so let's go with a uh, potion there. I can reset lol later. I'm not worried about that right now. Okay, so now I'm going to need Garrett to... Restore his synergy. Oh, he might have been able to kill Garrett there. Ha ha! <laughs> Everything is timed perfectly with this setup. <laughs> okay, let's go get our gen reset for yeah for Ivan there. It doesn't really matter what order you reset them in, but I just do it this way just for the habit. Let's see. Okay, so you go with Quick Strike. We do have our buffs active, right? Okay, good. So he will he will use what is that? Break on us this round. Okay, let's see. I would normally go with Griffin, but I have lost all my synergy. So we need to do something about that. Let's use Granite to help uh, blunt the damage from True Collide as much as I can this round. Okay, so that gets rid of all of our buffs. Yeah, that doesn't work on debuffs, so... Yeah, nothing we can do there. Well, at least he's spreading out the damage a bit. So that helps with my multi-targeting damage. I haven't had to use as many... What is that? Uh, Mist potions as sometimes I do. So we're doing pretty good there. Let's see. Okay, now let's reset Petra. Let's see. If Salt was not set at this point, I would do that. But I don't. So let's just uh, set Lull there. He's not really going to damage us at all this round, really. So let's see. Element Swap, Haunt, then he's got Curse. Okay, well, this would be a good time to use Salt. How are we doing on Haunt? Only one of us is afflicted with it, but I still want to get rid of that. So, okay, this round, we need to stop him from using Char on there. We don't have a buff, so he's going to skip break. And let's see. Okay, so we got Griffin there. I'm just thinking, yeah, Garrett will be fine this round. I was wondering if I needed to heal him, but no, no, we're good. Let's use Salt, so that way, if he uses Bind, I can still recover from that instantly. Okay, so he skips Charon, he gets a bind, I'm not worried about that. Then we get rid of all those status ailments. And okay, we're looking pretty good. Alright, so let's see, this round we definitely need Flash to deal with True Collide and Formina Sage. Let's see, you're getting a little light there, but let's go with one more Kick Strike. I can have Felix restore his own synergy when I need to. Okay, let's see. Now that he skipped break there, we can afford to use high impact. And let's see. If lull was not set, I would do that. But it is. So let's just go with granite since that's the next genie that I'm going to need peers to use. I don't need to worry about resetting salt for a while. So yeah, this is what we need flash for there. More so to prevent him from healing himself than actually mitigating the damage, although that is a little important too. Not dying, yeah, that's kind of a priority for me. Alright, let's see, let's get ground back up and running. Felix, you need to restore your synergy. Garrett, 
you can go with a little bit of damage there. And let's see. Okay, we... Yeah, we need to heal. So let's go with uh, Mist Potion this time around. I could probably get away with a Wish Well, but I'm not going to have time for Piers to heal in the next round or two. So, yeah, I really would rather keep everyone as high on HP as I can. Okay, we are good. Let's see. So this round, let's get Flashback in action. Get a little more damage there. Now we need Petra to stop him from casting Char on there. And I need Lull to prevent him from getting to Dinstorm in this round. So all he'll have for us is, yeah, the Death Curse there. Although I do love the music for this fight, I like how Lull just interrupts the music there. It's a nice touch there. Okay, so let's use Ground to prevent him from using Dinstorm there. Let's go, yeah, Quick Strike, get some more damage in there. And I could heal if any of us were below 600 HP, but that won't be necessary. And I would set Granite because I would use that soon, but I'm not going to. So let's just, yeah, set Salt there. Okay, no Dinstorm for you! I gotta double check to make sure that I've got my buffs active. Hmm, we've got two characters afflicted with haunt. You might wanna be careful. Because if multiple char more characters get afflicted with haunt, he might skip that at some point in his AI script. Okay, we've got the buff. We are good. Not worried about dying this round, because I'm gonna have Flash. And let's see, let's go with Griffin. And I do want to heal Garrett. I could reset Lull, but we can wait on that. Let's see. Yeah, let's go with that. Garrett will probably take a little more damage this round, but he won't die. So I can afford to have Piers wait to get the potion on him. Hmm, that might be a little close. Ha ha! He survived! Whew! Oh, that could have been close for Garrett. Alright, let's see. Okay, so we got through our two gin there. Let's reset. Let's get with some more damage there. He's going to be using Break this round. And let's reduce the damage as much as I can from the impending True Collide. Man, this guy is like... Who was that? Penance, practically, with how long it takes to kill this guy. He's got like 16,000 HP. And with all the healing and the HP regeneration and everything he's got, it is really tough to keep up with all that healing that he's got there. And he restores his synergy every round. Holy cow. Okay, let's reset another gen there. Get a little more damage. Do not cast high impact so that he will skip the break. Coming up here. Let's see. Let's set Petra there. If I did not set salt already, I would do that now. But instead, I will use lull and we will be fine this round because he's not going to damage us at all this round. Okay, we're still good. We're fine there. Okay, let's see. Now we need to use Brown to stop him from casting Charon there. And, yeah, we got Petra set, so we're ready for the future there. And I want to use Salt to get rid of the statuses there. Ooh, Ivan's almost dead from Death Curse there. Ooh, that could have been bad. You can tell he's almost dead by how few flames are left lit above him. Okay, so we stop him from casting Charon. He uses Bind. Even if that worked, we got Salt to help us out. And then he'll skip Break and go straight to a regular attack since I don't have a buff active. Now that he's past that, I do want to get a buff going here. So let's have Garrett help out with that. And let's see. I would set Lull here if it wasn't already there, but it is. So let's get that going. Hmm. I can heal next round. I was thinking, eh, 
maybe I might be worried about healing here, but we've got Flash. We'll just heal the next round. We'll be fine. Yeah, just gotta chip away at his HP. It takes a while, but it's no Yasma. No, no, we're, we're not talking crazy here. More like a cousin of his. Okay, let's see. So now let's... Wait, did I have you? Yes. Reset ground there. Keep piling on the damage. Let's keep on going there. And let's see. He's not going to kill anyone this round. He only has like a regular attack going on. But I do want to use the mist potion there anyway. Okay, so we swap some stuff around. I'm not worried about it. Hmm, Pierce is a little light on HP. But we'll see what we can do here. Okay, so let's get Flash going. Hmm, maybe I could have you heal, Piers. You know, that's a good idea. Let's just play it a little conservatively here. It is a bit of a tight situation. Let's use Petra to stop him from casting Charon this round. And Lull to prevent him from getting to Dinstorm. Lull is so good. Not just here, but just in general. Random battles, you name it. Just manipulating the game to do what I what it is I really want it to do. Do I have my buff? Okay. Okay, so let's stop him from casting Gin Storm. Double check that. And let's see, none of us are gonna die this round. I would set granite if I needed to, but I don't. So let's actually go with salt instead, though, because I'm going to use that sooner than lol, eventually. And let's see. Okay, haunt. Yeah, we're not really worried about that. Okay, we're good. Ow! Holy crap! Well, we're alive! Somehow! Good thing I used that healing item on him. Holy cow! Okay, let's see. This round, I can afford to heal. So, yeah, let's go with that. I do have granite set, right? I'm gonna need that in the next round. I really hope I have it. But, yeah, Flash to help mitigate the damage from True Collide and Formina Sage. I'm alive! Whew! Okay, can breathe a little easier now. Okay, let's go with Quick Strike. We've got our buff active. So he will use Break this round. Let's mitigate some damage. Let's see, he's gonna have a Break. Then attack and true collide. Yeah, that's annoying. Best we can do, I'm afraid, at this juncture. Okay, so let's not use high impact. So that way he will skip the next break he uses. Okay, where are we? Okay, let's set low. Yeah, we're doing fine on healing. He's not going to damage me this round anyway. But I do want to keep an eye on the HP there, just in case, because if you get below 600, you're within lethal damage range of Formina Sage. But that shouldn't be a problem for a while. Okay, so now we want to use Ground to stop him from casting Charon. We can get whatever damage we need now that we, we do have Petra set, right? Okay. <laughs> I'm very paranoid about making sure that we get all my gin set when I need to. Let's use Salt to deal with Haunt, Death Curse, and Seal if that becomes necessary. Now you wouldn't be able to inflict that on Piers anyway. Ow! Quit it. Yeah, that is a bit bothersome, but we do need Flash now. Okay, let's see. I think, yeah, now that he skipped break there. We can afford to buff up again. Let's see. Lull is good. 
thinking if I want to heal. No. No, I think we'll be fine because we got Flash here. I'll heal in the next round. And I also want to reset Jen earlier to boost or regain Piers' max HP so he'll stay out of lethal damage range. Ow! Quit it. Okay, let's see. So we got... Yeah, let's start resetting the gin. Let's get back on the offense there. One last one before... What is it? Before needing to restore some of your synergy there, Garrett. Man, just die, dude! One thing I heard about Dolahan is that in hard mode, when it boosts his HP, it doesn't boost his HP by that much, because I think, like, the cap is, like, 16,384 or something ridiculous like that. So, yeah, hard mode doesn't really affect him that much. <laughs> Wait, uh, yeah, make sure I've got the right one, so. Okay, Garrett, I would restore your synergy, but we need to use Petra to stop him from using Charon, and Lull to stop him from using Ginstorm. And curse. Yeah, not even worried about that, even if that did hit. Awesome. Hmm, Ivan is a little light on HP. Hmm. Well, we'll go with ground to stop him from casting Ginstorm. Let's see. Normally I would attack here, but let's do a little bit of healing there just to be extra safe. And yeah, but oh, right. You need to restore your synergy. Okay, well, we're not killing you this round. Let's see. Okay, let's set salt then. If granite was unset, I would set that now, but I didn't need to. I'm pretty ahead on resetting my gym. Ha ha. Okay, let's get Flash for damage reduction. And I think we can afford to go with some more damage there. And get a potion. Garrett should be able to survive with Flash, regardless of what Bellahan does with True Collide or attacking, even if they both hit Garrett. True Collide doesn't hit everyone, it just hits a few of your party members. Two or three, really. Ow, quit it. Okay, let's see. How are we doing on our buffs? We got them active. He will use Break this round then. Let's get set there. Keep the damage going. And, yeah, granite to blunt the damage from True Collide. Nice. Yeah, that damage there is not the curse status, that's the haunt status. Whenever you take damage, or whenever... Yeah, it's like a poison status, but it doesn't always damage you every round. It only sometimes will damage you after you take your turn for the round. And it's kind of a weird status like that. But that's okay. Okay, so now I do not want a buff. Because I don't want him... Or I do want him to skip a break in his AI script. Let's see. We got Salt ready to go. Let's... Yeah, let's get Maul going. He's not going to damage us this round anyway. Got him! Woohoo! I survived! Whoo! Whoo! I don't know how much longer I could have held out. Actually, probably could have held out indefinitely, but it's there. And for defeating him, we get the ultimate summon in the game that is completely pointless. Because if you can beat Dolahan, you can beat the final boss with Iris! Holy cow, that is a lot of gin you need to get the job done. Okay, get out of here. Get out of here! Woo! Okay, that... That that took a lot of concentration to make sure that I... If I screw up, like, one action, like, I forget 
to like set my flash or I misclick on something that I needed peers to do or whatever. Yeah, uh, that can go downhill really, really fast. It requires absolute concentration to get through that fight without using summons there. But all right, so that's all the super bosses and everything in the game. Oh, the only thing left to do is to take on the, well, the regular final boss in the game. So I'm going to meet you back at Mars Lighthouse. We've gotten all the puzzles solved there. Let's see what lies beyond. But what is this ominous force that might not want us to restore the seal on synergy? Find out next time on the finale of Let's Play Golden Sun, The Lost Age. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!